Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light Hello guys! Welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It is free for you to do so, and I would love for you to join my YouTube family. If you are new here, I am Tammy, mom of four. We recently moved from Nebraska down to Florida, and this is our very first Christmas here in this home, and I am so excited. I'm excited for Christmas. I'm excited to share all the inspiration for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Snowflakes as they're falling down and follow so before we get started decorating we have to clean up kitchen is the heart of the home and it is definitely the heart of our home it, we are constantly in the kitchen and it gets dirty it gets dirty fast so let's go ahead and get things cleaned up and put away before we get to the decorating Not only is this our very first Christmas in this home, it's also our very first Christmas with this brand new kitchen. Um, my husband and I just recently remodeled the kitchen, the entire kitchen, so definitely go check out those videos. I will try to remember to leave a link for you guys if you haven't seen them already. It was a lot of work, <laughs> but definitely rewarding in the end. I absolutely love how our kitchen turned out. It is beautiful and fits us perfectly. In today's video, I am using the Mrs. Meyers Limited Scent Peppermint. It smells so good. I just picked it up off the Grove Collaborative website. Um, I will leave a link down below in the description for you guys. Um, I think you might be able to get it at Target though. I'm not 100% sure. I know Target does sell some Mrs. Meyers scents. I have not yet seen the new holiday scents there yet. However, you guys, I don't know if Florida is just behind or what, but a lot of Christmas stuff hasn't been out yet. I mean, they're slowly getting things into the stores and getting them put out, but the, the holiday scents are not there, or at least not in my Target yet. So my theme this year for the kitchen is Santa. Um, so you'll see a lot of red and white, I guess, items, if you will. I think it just turned out really pretty and just adding that pop of red, it, it really popped in our white kitchen. So I think it looks absolutely beautiful and I hope you guys stick to the end to watch the entire thing and see the final reveal.
Alrighty guys, now that we are all cleaned up, it is time to decorate. I picked up these little hot cocoa mixes at Home Goods. I just thought they were too cute to pass up. They did come with a uh, white chocolate, peppermint, and dark chocolate. So I actually have heard about adding hot chocolate to your coffee. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, I know my kids will drink the hot chocolate otherwise, <laughs> regardless of adding it to coffee or not. So I just thought it was super cute. I love the little mugs and I definitely will probably keep them around and refill them, um, you know, at a later time once those are all used. Another one of our favorites for hot chocolate are these candy cane sprinkles. They just give that little extra pepperminty taste, um, you know, to your hot chocolate. Just a little extra kiss of Christmas, I guess, if you will. And also, it's kind of fun to add to your peppermint mocha coffees. So, as you see, we, we do have both a Keurig and an espresso because, um, yeah, we're avid coffee drinkers in our house. I was struggling a little bit deciding on where exactly I wanted to place things. Um, I do, once it's finished here, you'll see in just a second, I do love how it turned out. It turned out super cute. Uh, this shelf is actually a shelf that I think is supposed to be hung because there are spots for screws on it. Um, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby on 50% off. I think it might have been $20 or $30. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but I thought it was super cute and I seen it on Pinterest and some other YouTubers videos and I just thought it was perfect for our hot cocoa bar and coffee bar. Our family is literally obsessed with these skinny syrups. I don't know if you guys have heard of them or not, but you can find them most of the time in Home Goods and TJ Maxx, but you can also order off their website. We love them. We love adding them to our hot cocoa, to our coffee, even to water or tea or lemonade. They just have tons of flavors and options. And they recently just came out with the skinny sauces as well, which you see right there is the mocha, mocha flavored one. Um, they also have a pumpkin spice, but I think the pumpkin spice is limited. And then you also have um, recently released peppermint bark I think it is which that one is on its way I'm so super excited they are so good and especially for being sugar free hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in Christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time if you guys haven't already checked me out over on TikTok, definitely do that. I am being Mrs. Frazier over there as well, also on Instagram. Um, anyway, you guys, I anybody else like get on TikTok and then just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and then next thing you know, like an hour has gone by. Yeah, definitely guilty. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I found this super cute idea. Um, to decorate the KitchenAid mixer on TikTok. I, I can't remember her name. I'll try to remember to find her and link her below. If I forget though, definitely go check out my TikTok. I have a video on making the KitchenAid decor 
on there and I do have her tagged over there so definitely check it out I I just thought it was super cute and she she did such a good job with her fall mixer idea and I just kind of stole that and kind of made it my own but definitely love how it turned out super cute especially if you have to leave your KitchenAid mixers on the counter You'll notice that I move things around a lot. I I love the little decor pieces, but I couldn't exactly figure out how I wanted to place them. And actually, even these little spots that you saw me sitting up um, actually get changed. So definitely stay till the end because you're gonna want to see where I ended up placing everything. Those jute rugs, although I really love the natural feel that they bring into the home, um, the natural warmth and just natural material in that, they make quite the mess. I don't know. Is that just my rugs? Is that just me? Like, I I don't know what the deal is, but every time I move them, there is so much dirt under them. And I don't know, like the rest of the floor isn't that way. So I don't know. Maybe it's just us. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. As much as I love the jute rug, I don't like how dirty they get underneath of them. Oh, da, 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my I picked up this beautiful table runner. I did not realize it was two sided until I got it out today. It is so pretty, such a great material, and I just love the pop of red that it gives to our dining table. I picked this up at Kirkland's, um, and then I just wanted to sit a dough, bowl, a dough bowl on top that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was actually on Thanksgiving clearance, so definitely check out those Thanksgiving clearance spots or those fall decor spots, because you can definitely find some great deals. and. Definitely items that you can keep out year-round. Making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. La, da, 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 oh, oh. La, da, 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 oh, oh. La, da, da, I'm also doing this voiceover outside. So we are um, waiting for another hurricane. And I don't know if you guys can hear the wind and the rain, but it's definitely picking up. <laughs> So I do apologize if that is distracting. Um, however, it is also voting day and so or election day. And so my kids are out of school because the, they do use some of the schools for poll um, locations. So they gave the kiddos the day off. And so it was quieter to, fill, or to do the voiceover outside as opposed to inside with all my four kiddos so if you do hear the wind in that I do apologize if it is disrupting but it was the quietest place that I could find I wanted to make this little area just a little bit more Christmassy so I did find some ornaments that we previously had and just added them to the bowl and I thought it gave that perfect little touch of Christmas. Okay guys, so this part I struggled with. I I saw these beautiful ideas on Pinterest about adding garland over the sink and it just looked gorgeous. But I, again, I have a small budget this year and so I just used what I had and somehow I managed to find um, two <laughs> green very cheap green 
pieces of garlands in our outdoor Christmas box. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder if this will work. So I decided to throw it up here and kind of decorate it. And, and it, it didn't exactly turn out the way I thought it would. Um, however, it is still beautiful, um, just different. I think for this year, though, it'll be fine. I, I do like it. I was also wanting to hang wreaths on the cupboard doors, but I can't find my wreaths, so I think those must have got donated as well. But again, it's okay. We're working with what we have, and I know a lot of people have to do that, and that is perfectly okay. You don't have to have brand new items, um, especially when your budget doesn't allow for it. And like I said, our budget didn't allow for it this year, so I'm working with what we got. Let me give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Remember the deco mesh that I pulled off the Christmas tree? Yep, I repurposed it, you guys Um, I actually bought Santa Claus ribbon to put with the the garland but I was like I kind of feel like the red would look better uh, so I definitely I pulled this out and I think it looks really good um, we're kind of torn here in the Fraser household so you're gonna have to let me know here in a second you'll see um, I decorate by the window and you'll see the Santa Claus ribbon so you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments if you like the deco mesh or the ribbon which one you guys prefer uh, right now the kitchen has both and I don't know if I'll change it or not but I might we'll see I need you guys as input though And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe I also wanted to share these little uh, straps, I guess, if you will. They're command strips, or command hook straps. They're actually really nifty and work great to hold garland on your wall. Um, that way you don't have to, you know, damage with nails or screws or anything like that to hook your garland up. And, you know, sometimes the garland is too thick for actual command hooks. So I thought these straps were pretty cool. I'll definitely have them linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested in those. I I don't know. I definitely recommend them and I think they are super cool. is the Santa ribbon that I was talking about. I actually picked this up at the at home store and I love the ribbon. It is so cute and so pretty. Uh, but I don't know. I just, 
I'm not sure that I love it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But I I think I like the deco mesh better better. Y'all y'all have to let me know. So go back, check out the clip of the deco mesh, and then come back and look at the Santa ribbon and let me know what you think um looks better. So I am very curious, like I said, we are a house divided on this. Uh, some of us like the deco mesh better, some of us like the ribbon better. So I need I need a tiebreaker, you guys. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you think. One last final touch is this Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Room Spray. I absolutely love her room sprays. The scents are wonderful and just linger. And although you see that I do have a wax warmer in the background. <laughs> um, I told you guys before, I, I love my, my fragrances in my house. So anyway, I just wanted to finalize it with the room spray. And now we're going to take a final look and see how everything is set up. I love it. I love the simplicity of it, but I love the pops of red it is it's just so pretty and it's really hard to capture that in video but I hope you guys can see it and I hope you guys love it just as much as we do anyway guys if you enjoyed this please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to come back because we have more Christmas decorating to do the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. I hope everyone stays safe in this new hurricane. And until next time, bye guys. Tomorrow it is Christmas.